Kangdi Sen is a gongaku formed by three kanji. The first two of them, Kangdi, represents control or management. And the third kanji can have many interpretations. It can mean line as in a stripe. It can represent outline, contours, forms, division. It can also represent a line of action, the kind of approach one has, the policy. And also, sen can mean the impression that someone leaves, the air, even the vibe that uh, someone gives off. In this case, the poetry often found in the Japanese bujutsu, in the Japanese arts of war, also applies to the name of this gungaku. As in many techniques in the arts of the ancient buge, this name can have many interpretations. However, the core of this gungaku relates to the idea of creating an illusion during escape. This illusion is created by faking a draw and then quickly turning and running away. As soon as he turns his back and starts to run away, he takes his haori off in a stealthy way. Remember that the size of the sleeves of the Japanese clothes is bigger than the size of the sleeves of the Western clothes. After practice, one can learn how to take his haori during his escape. It is very important that the Shizen and the one that is chasing him are in a straight line. In this case, there are no zigzag movements, there are no swings. The reason for that is that the Shizen has to draw his sword and then take his Saya out and fit the Saya on his back, between his back and the Haori. The idea is that when someone is chasing other person in a fast running, the visual focus is centered on that person. Therefore, during the action, our brain tricks us and disregards many of the visual information that surrounds the person being chased. Particularly if there is a mon the symbol of a family, on the center of the Haori. Therefore, suddenly, once the Shizen took his Haori and the Haori is hanging by the Saya over the same line that he was running, he turns back and runs towards the chaser. This is a very fast movement and tricks the brain. The sword of the Shizen is just behind the Haori. The tip of the Saya that carries the Haori may fit in one or two points, that is the center of the Haori or the shoulder line, resembling a hanger. This Gungaku was also used when he had to find a way to escape. If we consider, for example, environments such as the halls of a castle, or if you consider a narrow hall in which there is one person in each side and say a Shizen was trapped between them. He had to find means to escape. Especially in low light situations, the outline of the Haori resembles the person and provides the possibility of escape. 